Beyond the Twin Cities skyline, past the big lakes and resort towns, bridging is on a mission, or more accurately, continuing a mission to furnish homes with hope. We also are known as Cha Cha Bonnie. Um, roughly a estimate of 300 families. Missy Bowstring serves on the local Indian Council for her district. For the past year, Bridging has built up relationships with the Red Lake Band of Chippewa and the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe. Today, Bridging is in Inger, the most remote community on the reservation, more than three and a half hours north of the Twin Cities. To me, it's just, it's been phenomenal. This is the fourth trip that I've made up uh, here, and to just see the, the joy in the families as they're able to receive things that, you know, maybe they wouldn't be able to get in any other way. Does my heart makes it a lot of pride because, you know, all these families do need stuff. They haven't gotten a whole lot, but we make do with what we got, so we are eternally grateful for having this here. Craig Cloud and his daughter came out to find furniture for their household, but also to help load trucks for others. I, I, I like seeing that. We have little things happen like this, like little events. That's when the community comes together. We got a good community here. We, I'll look out for each other. Frank Bowstring visited his hometown community to lend a helping hand. He said with COVID-19, the timing is good for many in the area who have been put out of work. You know, I'm just glad I could help out and give them a helping hand. You know, helping hand, help them up and help them prosper. You know, that's what it's about, helping your neighbor these days. Likewise, community elder Doreen Whitebird will take items that she found today and distribute them to other elders in the community who couldn't make the trip to Inger. It's like Christmas. Everybody's getting something, and they they're gonna. It's gonna be the talk. You know how nice their stuff is, and how I, they'll probably say how I slept good tonight. Bridging is able to connect with these communities because of the generous donations from the Twin Cities community. It's this connection over distance that motivates warehouse and delivery team member Brad Richter as he makes the trek with Jameson on a regular basis. For him, seeing that truck come around the corner so far from the Twin Cities, that feeling really swells him with personal pride as well. About a year and a half ago, I was a client uh, of Bridging. And so for me, it helped me to identify myself, uh, get some pride back in myself as I was moved forward. So any way I can play that forward to other families, to other children, to other moms and dads, watching them fulfill their need and build their families back together, that's what drives me. That is the mission that bridging volunteers, donors, and staff continue. The legacy of founder Fran Heitzman. I have no doubt that Fran is here with us today. I mean, I feel his presence in everything we do every day, but especially up here as we're, again, we're serving people that maybe we haven't seen before. And he would he would just find such, such joy in this. I said it's like we're the end of the earth. <laughs> we hardly get anything out here. When, it, when we do, it's, it's nice. And I want to thank everybody who did this. And it's all appreciated, and we love them. <laughs>